It's a first and it's controversial. A social services center in Morgantown is the first site of the first Narcan vending machine in this area. Narcan, of course, the nasal spray that can rapidly reverse an opioid overdose. New at 630, Shelly Bortz visited a local center to learn how this vending machine actually works. Anyone can walk in here to the Hope Hill Sobering Center and ask for Narcan. The vending machine is located right here in the main lobby, and it's as easy as getting a bag of chips out of a snack machine, only it's free. After filling out some paperwork, you select a number, and out comes the life-saving medication. It's as simple as that. We believe it should be in every medicine cabinet, in every first aid kit. The executive director of West Virginia Sober Living knew from personal experience why he needed a Narcan vending machine in the Hope Hill Sobering Center located inside Hazel's House of Hope, a social services center in Morgantown. John Dower struggled with his own substance abuse issues and is now proud to be able to help other addicts see that recovery is possible. We're dealing with a very serious epidemic inside of our country, and it's not just one of substance misuse. Um, the etiology or the root causes of, of addiction can't even be agreed upon at this point. Dower regards Narcan as something of a miracle drug. He says a spray can reverse an overdose so fast, the person is sometimes unaware how close they came to dying. On average, he says, it takes up to 10 minutes for paramedics to reach someone overdosing and even longer in rural areas. Making it more readily available, he says, will only save more lives. The idea of placing it here was to have it near the target population that we serve and to have it where um, you have access and some privacy to get to the machine. But critics of the Narcan vending machine say it only enables addicts to continue doing deadly drugs if they know they have a safety net. And my response to that would be, do you wait until there's a fire in your kitchen to go buy a fire extinguisher, or do you have a fire extinguisher in your kitchen in case there's a fire? Elizabeth Farr is living proof. She was administered Narcan three times. She admits if the life-saving drug wasn't available when she needed it, she wouldn't be here today. So we're definitely not enabling. Um, we're showing people that, you know, if you can just survive long enough, there's a better way. And that's what happened to me. Farr says the day after her third overdose, her friend used and didn't make it. That's when she decided she couldn't put her family through that same pain. She's been clean now for three years and dedicated to getting Narcan in the hands of everyone because, as she learned, addiction doesn't discriminate. Narcan saved my life, and now I'm able to go out into the community and help people. The gifts of recovery are amazing. After its installment here, I'm told many people have inquired about opening more Narcan vending machines across the state of West Virginia. In Morgantown, Shelley Bortz, KDKA-TV News.